So, let's jump in. Global prehistory, all right? 30,000 to 500 BCE. It's a lot of time. So, uh, we jump in with, uh, with prehistory, and, uh, you know, that, of course, that's just meaning the, the, the time before uh, writing. And if we look in broad terms across the globe, we start to see representational art popping up around about, oh, maybe 40,000 BCE. And what a lot of scholars have uh, linked that to is to um, the development of sort of abstract thought, the ability to use symbols in uh, early humanity. The one thing that we'll, that we'll say uh, about this Paleolithic art and this early image set, and we're going to start with the Apollo 11 stones in Namibia, is that uh, a lot of it is going to be based on speculation. There's a lot of information that we do know by looking, formal analysis, by context, but beyond that, because of, of the date uh, and a lot of the limitations, a, a lot of the, the why, the function, is going to kind of come down to speculation. So, our Apollo 11 stones in Namibia, uh, these are the earliest uh, examples on the continent, okay? And uh, we have one example here. This is uh, a fragmented piece of, uh, of stone, and you can see that it's been painted on. And we have a single animal. And in Apollo 11 cave, there were a number of these. It wasn't just one, okay? There were numerous ones, and each one of these stones had one single animal that was painted on it, all right? Um, we can look at it in terms of form and kind of break this thing down a little bit. What scholars have, have suggested is that uh, perhaps we're looking at some kind of a composite type animal because if you look at sort of the back half, I think you can make an argument that it, res it might resemble a herbivore um, for what it's worth. And then if you look at the head, it's been described as being sort of um, more like a lion. All right. Again, you know, we're, we're having to just use visual evidence to deduce a lot of these. Uh, but in comparison to uh, a lot of other cave art that, that, granted, is much later in time, we'll see that there are specific animals that are being depicted uh, based on observation. So there is definitely something going on here in terms of representation that uh, is at least suggesting maybe this sort of composite approach. And we'll talk about that when we move up to North Africa. So the interesting thing about Apollo 11, and here's two images of the cave itself, is that all of these stones that have been found in there with these single animals on them were brought from somewhere else. They weren't chipped off of the wall, okay? So someone had gathered that stone from another place and had gone through the trouble of bringing it to this site, all right? That's a big why right there. That tells us that there's some sort of significance with perhaps that locale, perhaps with the process of bringing it there. Okay, and that again comes down to speculation about what the function was. The figures on, on these stones are generally either uh, applied using ochre or carbon. So you have examples that are this nice kind of orangish red and you have others that are uh, that sort of uh, deeper lustrous black. So we're, we know what kind of materials are being used there. And ochre is something that has been widespread across the continent in terms of the visual arts and also has, uh, especially in, in contemporary times, a lot of significances with uh, spirituality and with status. All right? What we're looking at here is uh, an example. This is just a piece of ochre, and this is one of several that were found in Blombus Cave 75,000 years ago. And there's some intentionality that's been etched on the sides of these uh, with, uh, to create this pattern. And what scholars are deducing from these is that they were maybe like a crayon or chalk, all right? Again, speculation, but we have evidence of sort of long-standing use of these materials for artistic purposes. So if we're getting down to the why, 
Some of the suggestions that have been thrown out there have to do with things like uh, hunting magic, perhaps, okay? A way to bring success in order to get sustenance. Not unlike what you see up in Europe, right? Lascaux, uh, northern Spain, southern France, right? You all are familiar with those. Same ideas uh, have been suggested for what we find down here. Maybe it's a record, perhaps. Maybe it's a way to enhance fertility of animals, maybe. But then we come back to this sort of composite creature. Where does that sort of fit in here? Uh, is it more something linked with religion or spirituality? Maybe. Is it uh, something to do with a rite of passage? The fact that these are being brought from another place and brought to this specific place. Maybe there is a, a, a function that, uh, that has to do with this idea of initiation. We don't know the answers, but uh, we can get close to that just by looking, by thinking about the figures, how the formal elements are being used, and then thinking about context. All right. If we kind of jump up to, uh, yeah. Yeah. Yep. I have, and I, I think the link to that comes from uh, later examples that you find in cave art from the Khoi and the San, who are very likely the, the, the first peoples in, in southern Africa. Um, but the examples that these are often compared to are probably within the last thousand years or so. They're, they're, they're definitely more contemporary. Um, I don't know. I don't know. What do you all think? I mean, if, if, we're, if, if we kind of cut this in half with the break and we look at the way that the two, uh, the front legs are depicted as, as opposed to the back, you know, do we have more evidence of this sort of composite figure? Maybe. There, are, there have been links that have been, that have been suggested, um, but again, I, I think it does come down more to, to speculation with, um, with, with a lot of the uh, other extent evidence. Yeah. How big is it? Yeah, they're, they're fairly small. Yeah. Which again, if it, that's something that you could, you could carry, certainly with two hands. So thinking again back to the context that these were brought from, from somewhere. Are they sandstone? That I don't know. Does anyone know what, did, you, did anyone look up what type of stone it is? I don't know what, what the native stone in, in that part of Namibia would be. Yeah. All right. All right. 